Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here, and welcome to my review for Armored Up Baymax 2.0. I've actually gotten quite a handful of requests for this. I have had been able to find it, but I finally actually saw it on Amazon. But I have not seen it in stores yet, but I'm I'm pretty sure it'll be there soon. But it was pretty much the last main thing I needed to review from this first wave of toys. But as you can see, it's kind of one of those classic, you know, figures where you put the armor on. They've done figures like this in Big Hero 6 before, other figures before. You know, the Squish to Fit was kind of a version of that, but this is solid. Uh, you got standard Baymax right here, which is going to be the base for it. And then all these armor parts. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. You got his legs, which I just knocked over one of them. Um, helmet, the arms, shoulder pads. You have switchable hands, uh, just like standard fists. And then you got two different weapon choices. You got the drill and then this sort of Gatling gun. Um, but yeah, so you can pretty much see all his armor parts around. Um, kind of like, you know, the way he puts it on the show. So it's like not only just kind of a fun thing, but, you know, it's actually from the show. Let's just go over this first. I actually, I want to say that this is, I think, one of the strongest just standard, like, you know, base form Baymax figures they have. I mean, it's pretty hard to mess this guy up because he's primarily just white, but they got the proportions good. I think they did a good job making the color look kind of bright, but I also appreciate the little details here of these like other patterns here. It's got like a, a little bit of a different texture and then the different color. Like they could easily gloss over that and be like, oh yeah, he's just totally just a white blimp, but I appreciate that. You got the little slot here, which, you know, they'll put like little um, chips in or discs in or whatever. Um, so yeah, it's, I think it's one of the better looking just base form Baymax figures. I mean, I almost want to just display them like this. You even have articulation, you have the hinge here, all around movement like that. Uh, the legs can go back and forth here a little bit. The head can swivel around. It can't really move up and down, which is kind of a thing. But yeah, it's a, it's a very uh, solid just figure on its own, which I really appreciate. Okay, so putting the armor on is super simple. Something you're going to want to do is actually pull these out so that you can get a good range um, to, you know, put the uh, arms over and stuff like that. It's a pretty nice mechanism. I like the way it feels. It feels pretty secure. Um, as you can see, I had a bit of trouble with this one. It's a little stickier than this side. I bet your mileage may vary depending on which one you get, but I like the way that mechanism works. It's mostly pretty easy to deal with. But all these pieces basically just separate into two. When you get it on, he's kind of wearing the chest piece. But yeah, I slide this in here, snap this on, there you go. Same thing for the legs. Um, it was kind of confusing at first. I'm like, okay, because his legs are little stubs, how's he going to fit them on? But you do just put them on here. Um, wait, let me just put it right. And uh, I was like, maybe you just pop them on. That would almost be kind of easier, but I guess it's makes sense. And this is pretty secure. Go like that. But I was thinking, do you just do this maybe? You know, this? But you can't really do that successfully. So you have to, to separate it. But again, it's pretty easy. It's just kind of weird because I'm like, this stub is not going to fit this, right? But it does. And as you can see, it latches on there, even just holding that nicely. So you don't have to like, you know, lay it down or anything like that. Um, same thing with the arms here. Just wait, decouple them right here. And then like place this around here and it'll kind of latch on where this little like crescent is so that you can just, you know, place it on like this. Super, super easy. Same here. I always keep thinking I want to do this, but like this will tell you where it splits. He becomes a little bit top heavy once you get the armor on him. So he might attempt to fall over a couple times. That's, that's going to be a thing that's going to happen especially once you decide to put whatever fists on him. These are pretty easy. There's this little mechanism here that just uh, snaps right on here. So just kind of snap it down on there. It's actually fairly easy compared to some of them where like the shoulder pads will come off and they're not really supposed to. I mean, they don't break, but you know, it's not like a feature and they can just be a pain to put on. Just snap the wings in the back here. Also, these are very easy to put in. They snap easily and they stay secure pretty easily in my opinion pretty nice mechanism and you can move the wings at like any you know area you want I don't think it would ever do this but yeah you can pretty much do that um, the hands here let's just put the standard ones on they just slide right on like this they just, they just slide right on he says as he drops it you kind of have to do it with two hands just because you want it to click there we go I had it wrong there for a second like it's not difficult it's just with one hand it's kind of hard to make sure that it secures the click on there see like that's just weird it's a weird thing see there you go. So make sure it sting, uh, stings, stings, stays. There we go. And then I always like to do the helmet type stuff last because I'm nerdy like that. But yeah, put the helmet on. And it does, it's not like a visor. It just completely replaces his head with this blue tint. It's funny because I kind of complained about that in a previous review. But it is kind of blue after I rewatched the show. But I kind of like the visor bits. But... You, it, it like clasps onto the head so you get the full range of articulation. It's not like one of those weird figures where like the helmet 
will turn, but it's separated from the head. But yeah, that's basically like the core, uh, just armored up version. This is the most standard one. You know, you still get the articulation. He does become a little bit more top heavy, um, like especially if you like try to do something like that. Um, you kind of have to even them out. Uh, but you got the different weapon choices here. You can switch out very easily. Uh, you got the drill here, like that. And then you got the Gatling gun, which is cool. It would have been neat if they had a couple extra choices. I feel like there's a couple extra bits he has. But yeah, you can do that. It'll balance him out a little bit, but he also becomes a little top heavy. I think this one looks pretty okay. I think that like the fire up Baymax and stuff looks a little bit better in terms of the armored mode. Um, but this certainly looks fine. I think that just look wise, you can see my hands there, the uh, the standard like, you know, blank form looks a little bit better just in terms of accuracy and just like sitting there. Like this one just looks a little bit stout to me, a little pudgy, which it just bothers me a little bit, but like that's not the point of the figure. Like you can get the flame f flying by Ma Blimax, Baymax or something or like the individual figure if you really just want like a decent looking, you know, standard figure. This is definitely more about the fun of the armor and I think kids will definitely get a kick out of it. And I like how easy it is. Like sometimes you'll get these figures where the mechanism's a little funny or the armor will like to pop off super easy. Like right now when I was just spinning it around, like one of the pieces would just pop off super easy. So it's like, I think a really good design wise of making it easy to put together, but also secure, which I really like. So it's nice to do. Kids will get a kick out of it. You know, I think collectors might like it too, cause it's, you know, just like it does in the show, puts the armor on it. But I think that the collector wise that the white like standard form looks better compared to this one which looks pudgy but I think this is actually one of the cooler toys in the line I think it's one of the more fun and um, one of the better engineered ones so yeah um, definitely if you're a fan I can recommend checking this out I think it's pretty neat probably like I said one of my favorite things from the line as I said I found this one on Amazon um, I know it'll probably start appearing in stores pretty soon I just have not been able to find it like I said I got several requests for it but I was looking I just never saw this in fact I wanted to pick this up before the flame uh, Baymax, but I only found that one. So yeah, just if you want to head over to Amazon, that's where you can get it now. Otherwise, just be patient. I'm I'm fairly certain, like 85% certain, that it'll be on shelves before you know the Christmas season rolls in. But anyway, until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and of course, don't forget to climb steps and ring that bell to get the notifications for all my videos. Till next time, Dawson Ryder signing out.